Yo, what is going on FBI Army? It's your boy Fiago and welcome to my new YouTube video. As you might already hear, I am slightly pissed off. A few days ago EA released their official FIFA 21 ratings for the top 100 players. And we all know EA, they always drop in some really weird ratings, I mean that's just what they do. But this year it's something else, they exaggerated. Even by their standards, some of these ratings are really ridiculous and some players were really done dirty. So I've already posted a lot about it on Instagram, but you guys decided I should make a full rant on YouTube here as well. Well, so what I've done is I've picked eight players that, in my opinion, were robbed the most by EA this year and they were just unfairly treated. I also ordered them by how much I think they got robbed, so this video will probably be me getting angrier and angrier player by player because it's just getting worse. It's about time I upload this real talk and let's dive straight into it. So the first player I picked here is Timo Werner. If you watched my rating predictions video, I included him in players that definitely needed an upgrade. Basically in FIFA 20 he received an 83 base cut at the start of the game and at the start of FIFA 21 he will get an 85 card. At first glance this is a plus 2 upgrade and it's absolutely deserved. Minus 1 pace, the other stats have been adjusted a bit, increased a bit, but if you look at his winter refresh, this winter he received an 86 upgrade already on FIFA 20. So looking at it from this perspective this is basically a downgrade of minus 1. And I still think although from the start of FIFA 20 to the start of FIFA 21 this is an upgrade, he should not get a downgrade from his winter refresh either because he basically scored 34 four goals and got 13 assists all season. It was his best ever season. Why should EA give him a downgrade? I can see the logic behind it as EA are generally decreasing a lot of ratings. But still, I think also with his Premier League transfer, Timo Werner deserves an 86 at least on FIFA 21. Not an 87, but an 86 would be the rating I would give him. But I think this is still okay. It's still justified. If this was everything about the ratings, I would be like, okay, the ratings aren't too bad. But let's just check. It's getting worse. Next up, we have another player who was also included in my video of play players who should get an upgrade. Romelu Lukaku, the card on FIFA 20 was ridiculous, it was really bad and on FIFA 21 did he get an upgrade? Nope, he didn't. I mean okay, let's look at his stats, they received a decent upgrade. But still, I think an 83 shooting and 84 passing on FIFA 21 is just not enough for Romelu Lukaku. Big Rom had the best inter debut season since Ronaldo Nazario and this speaks for itself. I would give him at least an 86, probably even an 87 as I said in my last video. And I think although the pace, passing and dribbling got a decent upgrade that still doesn't represent the kind of season he had. But okay, these two players, Timo Werner and Romelu Lukaku, debatable ratings, but still not too ridiculous. Let's check the next one. We got Serge the Man Gnawi. And this is the first one where I'm really thinking, EA, do you actually watch football or do the employees that make the ratings actually watch the game? On FIFA 20, Serge Gnawi was 84 rated. And I think that was the right rating for him at that time. But then his 1920 season was awesome. 23 goals and 14 assists. He was very important in Bayern's treble winning side and what did he get? Boom! Okay, he got a plus one upgrade to 85 but let's look at his pace. Minus eight on his pace. I mean, I'm not one of those guys who are saying now nah, we should get a 91, 92 pace. I agree that his sprint speed is actually not the best. His top speed is less than Lewandowski's but his acceleration is still great and I do think Serge Gnabry maybe should not get 90 pace but 85, 86 must be the minimum for him and an 82 is just a joke for him. Ciro Immobile has 84 pace, two more than Gnabry. Same thing with Jaden Sancho by the way, who also only has 83, but now we're talking about Gnabry. I mean, on the other stats he got tiny upgrades, plus one shooting, plus one physical, plus three passing, okay. But for that season he had, he was one of the main men in Bayern's side. He should have gotten an 86 at least, with 86 or 87 pace, that is my opinion. With this card, Serge Gnabry was robbed by EA. And you see it's already getting a bit more heated, but just check out the next players. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. The man was one goal away from becoming Premier League top scorer. The man carried Arsenal to an FA Cup win. Definitely the best Arsenal player last season and he played a great season all in all. 88 rating on FIFA 20. I think that's a good rating but what did he get on FIFA 21? Boom! He received a minus one downgrade. I mean, okay EA, I understand that you want to adapt some ratings and decrease some of the players but why are you doing this to Aubameyang who literally played a great season? One of the best players in the whole Premier League. I mean, I mean, the stats didn't change too much. The only downgrade here is pace. Some of the others got upgraded, but these aren't significant changes. I just don't understand why you have to downgrade someone like Aubameyang. I mean, you can do it to players who really had an average season, but this guy, no. Same thing as Werner. No way they deserve a downgrade. I'm already a bit desperate, you see, but let's just go over to the next player, and this is Stefan de Frey. For the ones who don't watch this man a lot, he plays at Inter, Serie A, and he literally was voted the best defender last season in the Serie A. He was a rock for Inter. I also
also made a post about him on Instagram. Check it out. And he is really underrated. In my opinion, he belongs to the top 10 center backs in the world. Last season, top 5. And what did he get on FIFA 21 for this incredible season? By the way, he also received the 95 team of the season on FIFA 20. How did EA rate him this year? It's not even an upgrade. EA, okay, you upgraded some of the stats, but De Frey deserves an 85, if not an 86. I would even say an 86. And apparently, EA don't have any workers who watch Serie A at all. They just watch the Premier League and they just didn't notice. But I mean, if you work for this company and make these ratings, you have some kind of responsibility and you just can't ignore performances like Stefan De Frey put up last season. So this is already pathetic. Next player, guys, I'm getting angry. Thiago Alcantara, the man who wants to leave Bayern this year. But this doesn't mean he didn't perform last season. He actually had a great season as well as most of the other Bayern players too. And especially towards the end and the crucial Champions League games, he really turned up and was a key figure. So how did EA see this? Well, why not give him a minus two downgrade? I mean, he must have been bad if Bayern wants to get rid of him now. Well, that's just stupid. I mean, I can imagine EA thinking like that, but the man is 29, so age can't be an issue either. I mean, I just don't know what to say about this. Pace minus five, shooting minus two. The other stats mostly stay the same. A rating downgrade of two. I have no explanation for this. If you have an explanation, please tell me in the comments. I'm really curious to know and um, I just have no words for this. Let's just go over to the next player. Another Bayern player, what a surprise. EA and Bayern don't seem to be the best friends ever since Bayern signed for PES. More about this later. But we have David Alaba. He got an 85 left back card in FIFA 20. And over the course of last season, due to Bayern's injury problems in the defense, he was switched from left back to center back. And how did he perform this role? He did it excellently. With Alfonso Davies in the left, Alaba switched to center back. And from my personal judgment, he deserves an upgrade to 86. But what did he get? Well, of course, he got a downgrade, 84. Let's just give him a downgrade because I don't know, we are and Bayern pissed us off because they signed with Pass. Guys, I have no words for this. Another pace downgrade of six. Shooting goes down by three. Defense up by three. But it doesn't matter. Giving David Alaba a downgrade after this season he had is an insult. They probably only saw his own goal against Barca. They probably didn't even watch the game. Check the live app on their phone. And it said, David Alaba scored an own goal. We should give him a downgrade. I can't explain it. I'm just shocked by what EA are doing to these players. Especially Bayern players after this incredible season they had. And let's move on to the very last player it's no surprise who is it gonna be the one and only Thomas Müller. This is the one that got me most pissed off. I included Thomas Müller in my seven players who must get an upgrade and he was basically the one who deserved it the most in my opinion. I already explained his whole story basically, how his career was revived last season by Hansi Flick and there's not much to say about him. I think you all know that Thomas Müller played an incredible season so an 88 rating would be justified for him in my opinion but nope. EA are just gonna give him the same rating again with worse stats. What the fuck are you doing EA? I mean pace goes down by four shooting goes down passing plus three okay defense plus one okay no one cares but basically in my opinion this is a downgrade because he got downgraded by five stats and upgraded by four which includes useless defending and i don't realize how his passing is only 82 and how his shooting got downgraded the guy got 26 assists last season how are you going to give him an 82 passing how can you justify this ea send me an email call me i genuinely want to know also thomas miller is not the fastest player on the pitch we all know that but 68 seems a bit harsh dribbling 78 it's ridiculous in my opinion as well and the whole card is simply a joke i know that thomas miller's qualities are not easy to display on a fifa card but this is ridiculous you can just remove him out of the game completely because no one's going to use him he just got horribly robbed and now i'm going to tell you what i think why ea are giving out these ratings because logically there's no explanation but the only thing that is behind it is business first of all let's be honest which team got robbed the most this fifa it's obviously bayern these guys guys won the travel and only have seven players in the top 100 ratings. I think Bayern were done very dirty. A lot of their players, as you saw, did not get the ratings they deserved. And why is that? Well, it's easy. Bayern have a contract with Konami, EA's biggest rivals, for their game pass. And although EA might not want to admit it, it's obvious how they're thinking. If you sign with us, you'll get rewarded. If you don't, you'll get punished. I mean, it makes sense from a business perspective that they rather want to promote their own teams. But I think the base ratings should be really objective. You can't mess with the ratings. I mean, it's cool 
cool if you put some extra challenges, features and incentives for the teams that sign with you. But for the base ratings, I think they should really be unbiased no matter who signed with you and who signed with PES. Also, a lot of people are saying marketing is the reason that EA always drops some really weird and ridiculous ratings just to make people talk about it and complain about it. And I can just say EA, if that's really the reason behind it, congratulations because it worked. I am talking about your game right now. But I still hope you enjoyed this video and I'm really curious to hear what you think about all these ratings. If you know any other players that got robbed or which player got robbed the most in your opinion, drop me everything in the comments and I'm seeing you guys on the next video. Peace.